Hello YouTube. This just this is going to be a little overview here of if you've got a sticky OTF knife. And I can tell you honestly, I have never had one of these lightnings. This is a lightning elite. And I have never had one of these ever hang up on me or misfire. But when I owned a Believe it or not, I had a Microtech Ultratech Blade Show 2022 version. And that thing was hanging up <clears throat> and misfiring all the time. Now, of course, you go to, uh, you know, all these Microtech how-to destruction whatever videos. And they talk about filling it full of Remington's REM oil. Well, I tried stuff like that and it just didn't seem to really work. I don't know why, but it just didn't. My best advice and what I found to work absolutely flawlessly is especially when you get one that's hanging up. Get yourself some cheap old uh, Walmart Super Tech brake, brake Parts Cleaner. This is basically just acetone under pressure. And what you do, I had to do it with my Microtech all the time. About every two weeks I had to do it. You take it and you, you fill it full of the acetone, spraying in here. You dump it out. You work the knife and wipe it off, let it dry, because acetone will dry right away, and you should be good. You cleaned it out. Now, instead of all that REM oil, I use this. Well, first I started using just this, three in one, silicone, quick drying. That's the whole idea. You want it to dry. You don't want that. You don't want that oily gunkin' up stuff inside your OTF knife, because especially for those guys that are actually sticking this thing with the pocket clip in their pocket, which I don't. I scout carry this in an elastic band around a belt, so mine sits. In an elastic so it's not hanging and it's not getting in pocket lint and stuff like that as far as and these OTFs then I take this I started out with this but then this stuff seems to be even better this WD-40 you take this and of course you put your blade in there and you can fill this full just full I mean, literally fill it up and then shake it out like that and then work it back and forth. And especially on something like these light lightnings and lightning elites. Oh my God, does it make it so much smoother? I mean, that thing is flawless. I mean, it's just so smooth for even a cheap $35 knife. So if you have problems with even a Microtech or anything else, just OTFs in general, my first real issues were with a Microtech, believe it or not. And I got kind of tired of it and I had to try, I tried everything everybody was talking about on YouTube and it, turns out I cleaned it out with brake parts cleaner and then I let that dry I let it dry I actually hung the knife up like this for a while and just let it sit in the warm Florida Sun and it baked out all the acetone that dries pretty damn quick and then I just filled it full of this silicone I don't want gunky I don't want gunky stuff inside of it. So 
it works. Like I said, I first started with this. I just filled the entire thing full of it and sh shook it out. And then I did, I ended up doing the same thing with the WD-40. I never go to Wally's World without picking up a few cans of this because it's just so handy to have. I mean, this is nothing but an acetone under pressure. And it really cleans stuff up very well. I don't even believe it says it. Doesn't even say it on here what it actually is. Extremely flammable, of course. Cannot be made non-poisonous. <laughs> but it doesn't say anything here about it. Uh, it says right there, remove oil, grease, break fluid, and contaminants quickly with no residue. That's what you want. That's what you want. You want to clean these out. And I'll tell you, especially when you get like a one of these cheap China OTFs, I mean, you don't really have to take it apart. I heard some guy saying, well, hey, you get yourself a lightning, take it, take it apart and, and clean it out because it's going to be dirty. And yes, it will be. I just did it with this. I just did it with the old brake parts cleaner. And believe it or not, yeah, when I shook it out, there was gray liquid coming out of it. It wasn't clear anymore. So there you go. That is my rebuttal, I guess you could call it, to using all these oils inside. And listen, man, I mean, this... And it's so funny. I find it absolutely hilarious that a $300 knife, like a Ultratech... The one I had, I can't speak for anybody else, but the one I had hung up the first week I had it, and the and the switch. I have another video calling called my rattling three hundred dollar knife. Right out of the box, my first impression wasn't great, and I mean Microtech. Microtech, Microtech, that's all you hear. Microtech, Microtech. Here was the reason that my first impression wasn't great. You hear that? Let me put the microphone right up to it. This doesn't even rattle. Look, I'm hitting it, I'm tapping it. Now I can make it make noise, but just going like this with my Microtech, Ultratech, the, the button rattled all over the place. I actually have another video called My Rattling $300 Knife. Don't poo-poo one of these lightnings. I mean, nobody, nobody's out gutting a deer with this or anything. It's not that kind of knife. And... The funny thing is, is people talk about, oh, the cheap steel. It's only a cheap steel if you don't know how to sharpen it and you can't keep a sharp edge on it. Mine have damn near mirror edges on them because I do knife sharpening. Look at that beautiful edge on there right there. And I mean, this is, these are just my everyday carry beaters. Having knives, you should also have quality, superior sharpening system. And it's kind of like owning a car and you don't own any wrenches. You can't work on your own car. If you're a knife enthusiast, then you should have one hell of a wonderful sharpening system. A repeatable sharpening system so that's what I do and I don't worry about this having cheap steel because I ain't gonna cry when I'm out of my boat bouncing around and this thing happens to fall in the water I ain't crying but this is how I keep them running good 
specialist. Ooh, quick drying. That's the whole idea. Because this dries quick, then this dries quick, and leaves a wonderful finish, obviously, inside here that just makes this thing so unbelievably smooth. So there you go. A little bit about protecting your OTF. Thanks for watching.